Pyramid Head is one of the strongest killers in Dead by Daylight, with a very strong ability that is not easy to mess. It doesn't cover gaps, it doesn't go uphill, but windows and walls will not protect you. That being said, I have two builds for you guys that uh, are my personal favorites, of course, and I believe these will help you practice with the Pyramid Head and also demolish if you're already good with them. Let's go in build number one. I'm all ears. Any survivor that performs a rushed action within 48 meters from your location have their aura revealed for 6 seconds. Scorch hook floods of rage. At the start of the trial, 4 random hooks are changed into scorch hooks and you see their auras in white. When a survivor is hooked from a scorch hook, all the other survivors have their aura revealed for 7 seconds. Now you're probably thinking why use a hook perk on pyramid head? First thing first, it's very fun to see their auras and get those shots and second, you're not always gonna be able to use the cage so you have to have a bit of a mix between those two in my opinion you can use obviously pain res and all the other perks that are you know probably more viable in uh, all honesty but this is my personal preference nowhere to hide third perk whenever you damage a generator reveal the aura of all survivors standing within 24 meters of your position for five seconds lethal pursuer is the last perk we're going to be using at the start of the trial you see the auras of all the survivors for nine seconds and also you can see the aura for two extra seconds if you use other perks that reveal auras. So for example, with nowhere to hide, you see them for five seconds normal, but with Little Pursuer, you're gonna see them for seven seconds. And when it comes to the add-ons, only have like these options when it comes to Pyramid Head, unfortunately. With Burning Man Painting, increase the range of your power by 1.5 meter, and Wax Doll will increase it by another one meter. The second build goes like this with Mindbreaker. While repair regenerators, survivors are affected by the blindness and exhaustion status effect. So they're not gonna be able to use, for example, Spring Burst uh, if they work on a gen and you go at that gen. Gearhead, after a survivor loses a health state by any means, Gearhead activates for 30 seconds. And in that time, if a survivor performs a good skill check while repairing, the aura is revealed to you for 8 seconds. Monitor and abuse while in chase, your terror radius is increased by 8 meters, but if you're not in chase, you will decrease it by 8 meters. Pyramid Head has a 32 meters terror radius, and with monitor and abuse, it will decrease it by 8, and it will help you get the jump on the survivors that are working on gen, and maybe get a nice little hit with the, your power. I'm all ears, I do believe this is one of the must have perks uh, on pyramid head so if you decide to use these two builds you have to keep in mind that we don't have any gen defense so feel free to try this out and change it uh, to your like and as always i welcome in the comments down below any criticism or suggestion from you guys and i really want to thank one of my subscribers for the suggestion so if you have any suggestions let me know in the comments down below and i'm gonna reply to you and i'm gonna tell if i can do it or not yet so thank you now let's go into the game place midwich elementary school damn i love the skin Got one of the best skins on, on Pyramid Head. Okay. I was about to say someone has distortion, but I saw that guy on the generator. So we're gonna push the guy on the gen because the other ones are just probably doing totems or something like that. I don't want to disturb them, you know? I don't want to disturb this guy. Alright. If you don't shoot, you don't score, right? I tried. We're gonna follow this guy. Ooh, okay. What I'm gonna do here, I'm not gonna follow him directly. I'm gonna move around over here and go back to that gen. And he's most likely gonna go back to it. It's not gonna let us slip. It's time to go back now. He's already probably there. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Are you gonna. S uh, smart. Okay. Let's see, we have the noobs, so that's actually really good. Yeah. Ooh, the boy. Actually, no, I'm not gonna risk it. For a safe bet here. <laughs> so good. And she went through my uh, trail of torment. Right. Gonna free hit. We're gonna use the cage there in that situation because there is a pallet and uh, we don't wanna get, you know, screwed over. Okay, we're gonna use this uh, again. Seems to be. Ooh, there we go. That was just beautiful. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh. Hmm. Now. Oh, hello. Oops. How do I miss with this big sword? I don't know. Oh. 
<laughs> Somewhat is confusing. Hold on. We have a... Lori... Lori... Lori Strode is over here. I'm missing. But now I'm gonna hit it. <laughs> I don't know why I put the... This person, you know, for the aura reading. Because I can hit them without the aura. Oh. Are you gonna stay here? No. Okay. Gonna let her go for now. Just go back to Mr. Bill. Just make sure. Okay. I was expecting someone to come for the rescue. Free hit. It's probably have a, has a breakable. So we need to hook him. That's the good thing about this uh, Scorch Hook. Because even if you're in a chase and you, you know, they unhook him, it's gonna help you in the chase. But okay. Uh, unfortunately, he's uh, dead on hook. So. Yeah, that was a waste. Professional place here from um, Chapel, guys. Not really a map that favors us, in all honesty, because you cannot use your power vertically. They did the middle one, which I don't mind it because I don't know that well the tiles and on where to shoot, you know, with my power. <laughs> Ooh, they have speed burst. <laughs> giving you the extra sauce there and that those add-ons really made a difference where are you going <laughs> damn it my hair is just doing its own thing Ooh, only pallet drop that's nice well, at least we got rid of the god power we're still gonna follow her because she's actually leading us to the gens so that's great hmm okay i'm not gonna follow her i'm gonna go around there we go, someone else over here, Miss Lori, beautiful, oh, you just eat this, oh, we found Nia again, whoa, Lori just over there in Valhalla, damn, she's very athletic, I know, but damn, that was fast. <laughs> we can lose this like super, super easy. I need to extra try. Oh my. Okay. Okay, nice. Okay. This guy. First time we are actually in a real chase and he seems to be a very good looper. Yeah! Not really interested in tunneling to get the win. But I think we might actually focus on one because, as you can see, they have one more gen left and there's still three of them. The gen seems to be alright, we are in a good spot, that's that's good. A win is still possible here. Okay. Mm still have a pallet here. Just look at how much time I have to actually hit them because we have also a little pursuer. Okay, I'm gonna leave him because we need to focus on the gens as I mentioned. Usually players like uh, those will not waste time on healing, they're just gonna go on the gens and we're gonna get them. Uh... Okay, there we go. Actually, we found them <laughs> without even actually trying. And... That was nice. That was nice. Okay. I'd rather just go for a safe bet, you know. We cannot put her on the cage, in the cage, so we're just gonna have to hook her, which is fine in this situation because we have a scorch hook here. Yeah, the map is just. I mean, it's a legit excuse, right? The map. There we go. The, the scorch hook aura is just crazy good. Okay, those guys are healing. This guy is just sitting focus on these two guys probably get a double hit like my hair uh, it's screwing me over I mean I know I'm sexy with it but still I can only see with one eye okay Miss Throne let's see what you got nice 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 she's not going over there which is fine by me Okay, this is not over yet, they did the gens, which is to be expected. What is your first hook? Damn. It is to be expected they're gonna do the gens, no gen defense, but this can still pull off a win here. <laughs> there you go. 
And I believe she is um, gone. If I put her on a hook, right? I don't want to use the words, you know, bad words so often because, you know, YouTube and all that. She's going back to the lobby. <laughs> Basically, that's what happens. Okay, Lori. Okay, we're gonna go back there. Probably gonna go back around, so I'm gonna bamboozle her. <laughs> okay. Okay, wait for her to vault. Okay. I'm gonna trap her inside. There we go. If she was the last one, I would have risked for a cool shot there. But I think this is even funnier that we actually trapped her here inside here. <laughs> actually, like the to not break that uh, that wall over there. But depending on the kill, you know. Still, GG's. Oh my god, man. These vertical maps are just uh, kicking my ass today. I know I could put an offering, but oh, I like to be organic. And if I can do well on these maps, I mean, on the other maps, it's just... Lemon squeezy, right? You know the beginning of that phrase. Saw this guy, but you know, try to be cheeky. This window, maybe. There you go, perfect. I was at the exact perfect height to actually hit her. Now we're gonna focus with uh, on this girl. Gearhead is doing his thing, as you can see. Managed to injure, and she did a gen or something like that. Oh, <laughs> she's focusing so much on me that she doesn't look in front of her. Okay, gearhead over there. We're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna use gearhead to its full potential, putting pressure on everybody. Yeah. Don't really need a lethal pursuer because with gearhead you you have a lot of time. Where I hear something, but I cannot tell from where. The audacity! Just sitting in a bush. What do you think you are? Claudette? Gonna bait her. Okay, excellent. There you go. Oh, there you go with gearhead. See? Uh, squeeze me? That's interesting. Just gonna block this area. Okay. Uh, what I was saying is that because I have Mind Breaker, I can get closer, close enough, so I already have an advantage uh, in hitting them, you know, with monitoring abuse. Not being able to use their uh, exhaustion perks, it's a big thing, you know. And with Gearhead as well, as I mentioned, for the information, and I'm all ears to help me in chase. <clears throat> <laughs> you underestimated the range. Crazy. Probably has sprint burst. That's what, why she was waiting there. You know? Trying to be cheeky. But not against Pyramid Head. No, 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 no. You cannot do that. And obviously, I'm not gonna focus on one... Uh, on one survivor. I have to put pressure on them. Also, these windows does not do, do not help, for sure. Yeah, as I mentioned. Even though I have information here... She still has very good advantage. Yeah. It would be nice if I can see the future or the map like inside out. But I'll actually touch grass in real life, so I know it a bit, but not like better than my backyard, you know what I mean? Okay. Feeling the pressure, baby, come on! Hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> Permitted is so, so good. Uh, very hard to use, for that matter. I am not the best with it, as you can see. Still, I can make it work a bit. Ooh. Because I'm, you know, I'm just talking here with you guys. I just not, I'm not counting cooks. Ooh, gearhead. There you go. Yeah, such an underrated perk, uh, Gearhead. If you don't use Mondra, you can probably swap it with um, something that actually deletes your the radius. Mm, that would be too cool, right, to actually get a hit. I believe Trail of Torment it's called, uh, that you actually, after you kick it, you become undetectable. And you can probably swap that for Monitor and Abuse to actually get free hits while they're working on a gen with the information you have with Gearhead. And because of Mindbreaker, even if they move, you know, 
slightly, they cannot use Spring Birch or something else, some else, uh, some some other exhaustion perks, so we can get like free hits. Okay, he stays there. Let's see. The patience. Okay, I'm gonna bait her. Oh, okay. There you go. Ooh. Okay. Newbie mistakes. Okay, that gen is good, yeah. <laughs> this girl has something with the bushes. I don't know what it is. But I'm telling you, it's the last time she's gonna be using the bushes after this game. Two left. <laughs> there you go. Both of them are here. Yeah, we're probably gonna get them both. Yeah, I'm feeling super sweaty today. This is the power of monitor. You can get in close, you know. And they cannot hide from you. I saw the other girl like working on the gen. She's she thinks she can. Uh... There we go. And now, because you just played that very badly, I would have just hide or work on other gens, not like a gen like in front of me, right? There we go. This is a very very strong loop. So okay. <laughs> I do like the shirt. I'm not that good pyramid that I can make a shot here. I admit, and it's very long loop, so I'm just gonna break it. I can't afford it. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Desperation. Don't worry. I'm gonna give you the extra treatment. There we go. First. Put you in a cage, and you're probably oh, you all both of you are in a cage. So yeah, you can you could have definitely hide, go for the save, and you know make a reset or something like that. But yeah, GG's. <laughs> let me know what is your favorite build out of these two, and if you have a different one, let me know as well. Sometimes it's nice to have someone to talk with about this stuff and actually help each other to get better.